Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncreate the Dionese X-Ride Glove. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump in and tell you all about the Dionese X-Ride Glove today, do us both a favor and subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That way you don't miss out on any of the latest gear reviews. Speed Addicts is always getting a first look at new gear coming into the industry. Subscribe and don't miss out. Now, if you would like to purchase a set of the gloves we're gonna talk about in the video today, we make it really easy. There's a link in the description below. They'll take you right over to speedaddicts.com. You can shop for the Dionese X-Ride or any other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. So, are you a street rider that's looking for high-end short cuff protection? Well, the X-Ride might be for you. This is a $200 glove from Dionese. It's packing a lot of the same protection that say the four-stroke glove or some of their high-end gauntlets are bringing to the table in a more streetable format. You get creature comforts like smart screen, uh, a little less uh, on the knuckle protection, just a, a nice, comfortable, great looking glove. Now, like I said, it's not inexpensive at $209, but you are getting multiple colorways. You're getting a CE level one certification. You're gonna see sizes small through two extra large. And that brings us to fit. This glove is fitting me true as are most of the gloves these days from Dionese, you're going to start by getting a palm circumference measurement. Make sure to measure your dominant hand. It might be a little bit bigger. Get that palm circumference measurement. Go to the Dionese sizing chart at Speed Addicts and find your size. I'm a nine inch circumference, which is recommending a size large, and that's gonna fit me great. Now, a note, quick note on glove fitment, account for some break in around 10%, especially uh, a full leather glove like this it is going to stretch. You're gonna sweat in it. It's going to form to your hand. That's kind of the point. So out of the box, make sure it is nice and snug without causing discomfort. We recommend trying it on in the living room for a little bit and just kind of gauging if, you know, after 10% break in, you're gonna be in a good spot. That's the glove for you. Now, when it comes to fit and shopping for gear, we know you don't always get it right the first time. That's okay. And the reason you should be shopping at speedaddicts.com because we're gonna give you no cost returns. That's right. We don't nickel and dime you like the other guys. A couple of clicks, you're gonna get a free return label to return or exchange your part or gear. Uh, no problem. All you have to do is live in the lower 48 states. You're gonna get that free return label and also make sure the gear is brand new in original packaging. Give us a shot. We'll treat you like family. Okay, we're dealing with goat. That's the dead animal du jour. This is goat palm. Goat construction across the back. Goat hide is nice because it does actually break in uh, a little bit more than bovine leather. It's going to be a little bit easier for the manufacturer to control the thickness of the hide in certain areas. Give you a real nice touch on the palm. Let's start with the back of this glove and kind of work our way to the cuff. You're gonna notice reinforcement across the knuckles. What this doesn't have are any sort of TPU or hard sliders. Like I said, it's a little less aggressive on the protection front than say the four stroke glove, okay? But it is reinforced, so it does give you lots of, uh, lots of hide here. And then as we work our way back, you're going to see perforation and you're going to see accordion stretch. So this glove is actually pretty good in the warmer temps. You get perforation between the fingers as well as across the knuckles of the glove and as we move into the back. So it's a great glove for kind of mild to warmer temps without sacrificing the protection. Uh, they are using this kind of uh, scatter shot, hard knuckle protection, and uh, not only are you getting these hard sliders on the outside, you're getting plenty of padding behind them. So kind of a cool, interesting design. Uh, they are comfortable once you break them in. I noticed just this glove out of the box was squeezing me a little bit here between the knuckles, but after a break in, I'm gonna be in good shape. So that's how they're handling the knuckle protection. Um, kind of a, a cool abstract design here. As we work our way to the back of the hand, we're gonna trans, uh, transfer from the goat hide to a little bit of this perforated neoprene. So you notice it's kind of got the perforations in it. It's gonna flow in a lot of air. It's gonna tuck under your jacket quite nice here. And it is comfortable the way they've cut this, this uh, cuff here. It's very ergonomic. It's gonna allow you to flex. Really smart design on the cuff and they carry it around to the inside. So the whole cuff is neoprene. Here's your Velcro connection here and uh, they finish that off with some more leather. Now, as we roll the glove around, you're going to notice just tons of accordion stretch on the thumb. There are no hard or soft pads here, but the accordion itself is pretty thick and is gonna give you decent protection across the back of your thumb. Now, as we move into the palm, 
We do have the touchscreen compatibility on both the index finger and the thumb. We've tested this out a bit here. It does work pretty well. If you're running navigation on your phone or you just need to open it, manipulate a map, you're gonna get away with that. Unlike on some of their more racy gauntlets and short gloves, like say that, that uh, four stroke, it's missing that uh, touchscreen, makes it a little bit more streetable solution here. Lots of uh, reinforcements throughout the crook. We have multiple layers of that same goat hide throughout for wear protection and uh, abrasion control in here. When we move to the palm, you get lots of carpal bone protection, both over here on the scaphoid area. This is a soft impact foam, and then you get the hard puck. The hard puck is going to work in conjunction with all these pinky sliders to promote sliding. Sliding is important, not just because of course you want to slide and instead of wear through the hide, but it's gonna protect your joints. If you stick, it's gonna load up your joints, gonna cause problems. That's why you're seeing the hard puck sliders on a lot of the high-end gloves. So we have the big palm slider as well as three separate independent TPU sliders across your pinky finger. And then this is the same distortion control plate that they're using in all their high-end gauntlets and that, uh, that four-stroke glove. This is how they're solving the pinky roll problem instead of stitching your pinky to your ring finger like a lot of other manufacturers will do, um, they're gonna use this control plate to prevent the finger from rolling back as easily. I like this, especially on a street glove like this, can allow your hand to move more naturally the way you grip the bar. It's not as bulky. It <clears throat> doesn't have that kind of like crazy race look when they're stitched together. So I like the distortion control plate, a nice way to solve that problem. And that about does it. You're gonna get a one year warranty. Again, 209 makes a set yours. Not inexpensive, especially for a shorty, but they are giving you all that same uh, protection technology or a lot of the same technology that they're using on the much more expensive four stroke, uh, the Steel Pro and uh, even that Metal 6. Now, if there's a question I didn't answer here, don't worry, Rider Support is standing by at speedaddicts.com where you can always talk to a human over the phone, live chat or emails. And if you've got a set of these X-Ride gloves already. Let us know how you like them in the comment section below. That'll do it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.